pain. Everyone knows this unpleasant sensation, but some people live with persistent chronic pain. Chronic pain persists for months or even years, degrading our strength day after day and impacting the quality of our lives. According to statistics, one in every five people suffers from chronic pain. If you have experienced chronic pain firsthand, this video is for you. We usually think that pain acts as an important signal that something has gone wrong in the body or there is some potential danger or illness. We are used to believing that every pain has a cause that must be treated, healed, or eliminated. When we experience pain while touching something hot or when we break a leg, this is exactly what happens. But is this the same with chronic pain? Perhaps this will surprise you, but recent research shows that this is not the case. Today, four out of five people with symptoms of chronic low back pain have no physical pathology causing the pain. And even if there is physical damage, it is not always the cause of chronic pain. So far, the real cause of chronic pain is mostly unclear, so we just get used to living on painkillers and their side effects. So what can we do? Let's take a deeper look at what happens in our body when we feel pain. Indeed, understanding is the key to better controlling and managing our pain. Meet Dr. Pavel Goldstein, Director of the Laboratory for the Study of Chronic Pain and Public Health at Haifa University in Israel. It's very important to understand that no matter what hurts in our body, the one who makes the final decision about how much pain we experience is our brain. The brain receives a signal from the body about some problem and alerts us by making us feel a certain level of pain. Thus, pain is like an automatic hazard warning system. But in case of chronic pain, this system often gives a false alarm. It turns out that in chronic pain, our brain reorganizes itself. Not only the brain areas associated with the perception of acute pain are activated, but also the ones associated with decision-making, memory, and emotions. Moreover, in some cases, our brain starts to perceive any touch as severe pain, as if someone had turned the pain volume to the maximum with no relation to physical damage of body tissues. Thus, the brain itself can create pain without any physical reason. Researchers have identified factors contributing to the transition of acute pain into chronic pain, such as fear of pain, negative expectations, and mental trauma. This subject is still being researched, but we know that up to 50% of people with chronic pain also suffer from depression or anxiety. Thus, the chronic pain we experience can be directly related to our state of mind, and sometimes it's necessary to heal the mind in order to heal the body. In 2019, a revolution in the diagnosis of pain took place in the international medical community. For the first time, pain was defined as a separate disease, requiring new approaches to diagnosis and treatment. Today, we understand that the solution for people suffering from chronic pain will come from integrated approaches, including medicine, psychotherapy, and the active engagement of the patient in the treatment process of chronic pain. Remember, you do not have to be held hostage by your pain. It can and should be treated. This is what our future research will be devoted to.